Paths exist in three dimensions, but an engineering drawing which is depicted on a piece of paper has only two dimensions, length and width. Orthographic projection helps to translate three-dimensional objects onto a two-dimensional plane. In orthographic projection visual rays coming from object are oriented at right angles to projection plane. This gives true dimensions of object on plane of projection. An orthographic projection generally involves use of three orthogonal planes, vertical plane, horizontal plane and one of profile plane. The objects are projected on these planes in order to obtain their true shape and size. The horizontal and vertical plane divide the space in four quadrants and object can occupy any of the four quadrants. The layout of the various orthographic views on a drawing is directly related to the angle of projection used for the drawing. In first angle projection, the object is assumed to be situated in the first quadrant. In front of vertical plane and above horizontal plane. The observer is positioned at infinity and object lies between observer and respective plane. Therefore the view closer to observer is projected on plane, situated on other side of object. Maintaining the above convention, front view is projected on vertical plane, and top view is projected on horizontal plane, the left side view is projected on profile plane. Edges of object that are hidden from observer are shown by dashed or hidden lines. By convention drawing sheet is assumed to be the vertical plane. Therefore horizontal and profile plane are rotated to bring them into same plane as that of drawing sheet. The front view comes above the top view and left hand side view comes to right of front view and vice versa. First angle projection is predominantly used in Europe and Asia. In third angle projection object is assumed to be situated in third quadrant. Here projection plane comes in between object and observer. And the view of object nearer to projection plane is projected on it. The front view is projected on vertical plane and top view comes on horizontal plane. The right side view is projected on profile plane. Hidden edges of object are represented by hidden lines as in first angle projection. When these planes are rotated into a single plane, that is the vertical plane. The top view appears to be placed above the front view and right hand side view comes to right side of front view. Third angle projection is predominantly used in the UK, US and Australia. In second and fourth angle projection object as usual is placed in second and fourth quadrant respectively and the corresponding views are taken on projection planes. Following the convention top views in both the cases are to be brought to vertical plane by suitable rotation of horizontal plane. It may be noted that by doing so two views overlap over each other resulting in confusion therefore these method of projections are not recommended in practice. Now, let's see how the symbol for both the first angle projection and third angle projection were derived. These symbols are nothing but the projection views of truncated cone of suitable dimension. For first angle projection, the object is in the first quadrant. The front view is projected onto the vertical plane and the top view is projected onto the horizontal plane. If the projections in the first quadrant are unfolded and rotated, it forms the symbol for first angle projection. For third angle projection, the object is in the third quadrant. The front view is projected onto the vertical plane and the top view is projected onto the horizontal plane. If the projections in the third quadrant are unfolded and rotated, it forms the symbol for third angle projection. These symbols should be placed in space provided in title block of drawing sheet. So when the part drawing requires multi views, depending on angle of projection used, orthographic views are arranged differently on drawing sheet in first angle projection like this and like this in third angle projection